Hey everybody, Jerome and Ashley here from Atmospheric Collectibles, and we have a big video of new releases, restocks, and special orders. Um, so we're really excited to show you all these records, And but before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you would like any special orders to arrive before Christmas, uh, meaning that we get them into the store before Christmas, uh, well, let us know by Sunday night because We'll be shipping out an order on Monday morning that will arrive like midweek. So, uh, but we also do gift certificates. Yes. So, yeah. So that's actually a really good way too, because some people may hand you a, a list with the titles that they're looking for, and they could be records that are all like out of stock at the moment, or I have back ordered uh, one because it's a holiday season and a lot of records are, you know, out of stock. But it just in general, they might be harder to find records, so get a gift certificate, and then as soon as it comes in, I'll text text the person. So yeah, anyway, that's a good way. Expired. Yeah. So some box sets. Yeah, we got some box sets to show. Uh, um, I guess first we'll show the Celtic the Frost. Frost. Uh, this is Dance Macabre, and it is the giant box set that they did. That's got a beautiful different marble colored vinyl or swirl color vinyl uh, of all the releases. We have shown this before, but it is a very nice set. Um, Ashley keeps selling my copy, so we have to order it every week. <laughs> but uh, this is a special order. If you want one, let us know, and uh, we can get you in one, one next week when I finally get mine. I just so. have a very few limited amount that I can get in. Uh, both distributors ran out, although I have a few more copies reserved for me, and one of those are Jerome's. But uh, in my defense, uh, Jerome owns all, all those records. So I figured like, it's okay. I'd rather a customer who asks about it gets it first because he can still listen to those albums. But as a collector, I mean, it comes with uh, a badge, a, a, book, a patch, a, a rehearsal cassette. Book. Um... It's really a Morbid beautiful Tales, set. Yeah. To the Megatherian, Into the Pandemonium, all the albums, all the EPs, uh, Emperor's Return, Tragic mm -hmm. Serenade. So it's really good. It's very good. Okay, so we've got the UHQR by Analog Productions uh, reissue of Steely Dan Camp by a Thrill. Uh, so this is the first of the Steely Dan reissues that they'll be doing. Um, it is a very deluxe packaging. It's got this nice. Uh, book type edge 100% uh, analog yes so. uh, definitely says 100% analog uh, masters on the cover and also this is interest I found this interesting it's uh, they limit less than 1,000 records per stamper that is a very so, small run so yeah that's sound quality very impressive. is uh, supposed be to be the best the definitive version is what i hear so we have the legendary 1976 dead and green grateful dead show um this is dick's picks 33 it is eight records it is numbered uh it's limited it's a very nice set limited to six thousand copies so grateful dead it's a lot of grateful dead <laughs> yes it's a little bit a little bit fancy all right, so we got a few video game <coughs> vinyl soundtracks. So these are music on vinyl at the movies. And um, this is limited edition of 1,000 numbered copies on purple and pink marbled vinyl. It's the PlayStation soundtrack composed by Bear McCreary, and it's God of War. It's a 2LP set. Really nice. We also have limited to 2,500 copies, The Last of Us, which is on silver and black marble vinyl and uh, 180 gram vinyl great game great soundtrack those are numbered as well so yeah. yes i only have this one copy so it'll just be first come our first you know request because i can't get any more these are gone it's limited to a thousand so oh you want to show that one before oh yeah move on? so this is uh mxm tune and it is not video game soundtrack however um she did a video game vinyl soundtrack that we got on uh it was like one of the past record store days it was really cool but this is her studio album rising and it's an indie exclusive on opaque yellow vinyl thought that's pretty cool i'm not as familiar with her but i know it's um something i probably would 
I will listen to because I I'm, should be interested in it. So they're re-releasing all the early Nick Cave stuff, and we have a handful. We normally have a lot of Nick Cave, whatever's usually available in the bin, but it's usually the newer stuff. But we've got Henry's Dream. Uh, and we have Kicking Against the Pricks. We've got From Her to Eternity, classic record. Uh, we've got The Firstborn is Dead. And we have Tinder Prey. So, so really cool they've been doing these reissues of Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Also, I thought I would mention while we're on the topic, uh, they've also been reissuing some of the Barry Ad Adamson uh, records, so solo like solo stuff. stuff. And then there's pre-orders up for a couple of the Mick Harvey solo stuff. So if you're interested in either of those, uh, yeah, uh, let me know. Um, we'll get those in. Yeah, we really like Nick Cave, so. Okay, so I know I did show this last week. I ran out and so I got more. We've got the meters. It's a message from the meters, and it's the complete Josie reprise and Warner Brothers singles of, from 1968 to 1977. And this is a three LP set, and it's in a really nice like trifold cover, and uh, it's really meters, good. Uh, records are really hard to find. They're even harder to find in good shape. Like, so this is a great compilation, and if you like funk at all, you definitely want to check check that out. Yeah, definitely good stuff. Um, Lana Del Rey, her records are always out of stock. Uh, however, right now we do have Honeymoon. Just got it in. And Lust for Life. I swear these have been out of stock for like a year. Uh, it's been a really long time. Uh, these are fantastic records. They sound amazing on vinyl. They do. I would say that Lust for Life might be our total favorite. But I mean, we I mean, we really do love them all. But the production is amazing. It's a, it's a great record. Great sounding record, so. Oh, also, yeah. back in stock, uh, we have some Kanye, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, Kanye West. This one goes in and out of stock. Um, sometimes we can't get it, and if it goes six months without us getting a single copy. Right now, we've got... The only reason I've been able to show them for the past, like, three weeks is because I had ba I back-ordered those all so the time. Copies. And so, whenever they came in stock, I have quite a, I had a good amount on my shelf, although I think they're just about gone again. So, if you do need that album, let me know as soon as you can because, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, and this is also one that's out of stock a lot. I know this one might not be as popular or as much of a favorite as that one, but I do know that, um... <coughs> People it's really like it, it, and it's been out of stock. So we've got, and it's Yi, and it's I Hate Being Bipolar, or it says on the cover, I Hate Being Bipolar, it's awesome. This one, that sentence is one of my favorite sentences. We also have uh, Late Registration, which is the album we get asked for all the time. Yes. So, oh, yeah. So this is cool. There's a brand new Duster record, and and it is called, is it, it's got a title. I it might just be called Duster. Um, yeah. All right. They've... Uh, oh, I didn't really... Okay. Well, real quick, I was to say that so. this is on uh, Ghoulish Translucent Vinyl. So, yeah. New Duster album. They've reissued a trail of, a tray of Suicide Notes and Butterfly Kisses. Uh, it's Craft Recordings. It does not say if it's colored, but it is the 20th anniversary Dressing. Yeah, I think it might be black. So, classic record. Yeah. All right. So, we've got the new Neil Francis. This is called Sentimental Garbage. And it's um, limited edition tour EP on opaque white vinyl. It's got seven tracks. And uh, a lot of our locals are real are big fans of Neil Francis. We like him a lot. Uh, he played at the Parks Fest about a year and a half ago. It was a great concert. He played through the rain. It was pretty cool, Good so show. we got that in. Slipknot's first. This is on uh, Lemon Vinyl. It's limited edition. Mm -hmm. So we got Blake Shelton, Loaded, The Best Of. <laughs> Two LPs cut at 45 RPM. Now, this was a uh, special order. However, I can get more in if you would like. All right, these we've not had in for a while. We have a uh, Switchblade Symphony Silver Vinyl Bread and Jam for Francis. 
And we have a Serpentine Gallery, and this is unlimited edition purple marbled vinyl. Um, and these are if you like uh, gothic electronic music. That's cool. I like gothic electronic music. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is Third Eye, Bl Third Eye Blind Unplugged Volume 1. Now, I I believe that this is a 2LP. <coughs> it's in a gatefold. And it's so greatly priced. It's priced so affordably. I don't know. It just makes me really happy. So I definitely think if you're a Third Eye Blind fan, you definitely need to grab this. Strange Waves, here we come. The Smiths. This is the one with uh, Unhappy Birthday and Death of a Des Disco Dancer. Uh, it's a great album. If you're looking for a place to start with the Smiths, this is just as good as any. But, uh, also, uh, Queen is Dead, still on back order. As soon as that, that one's been on back order for a while. Okay, so this is 070, oh, wait, 070 Shake. And yeah. the album is called You Can't Kill Me. And that cover is really cool. Uh, now, this was a special order. Um, I believe, like, so I wasn't familiar with 070 Shake. Now, they have two albums. This is the second album from them. And um, it comes up as like contemporary R&B, electronic, hip hop. So I don't know. I have to listen to it, but it sounds intriguing. Well, yeah. Uh, Bauhaus, the sky's gone out. This is part of the where they the uh, Beggars Archives, but it's a uh, classic record. Um, is that color? I think it's color vinyl too. It does not say, does it? Yeah. You can read the. No, it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure that it, I think it's colored vinyl. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all right. So this is Younger Brother and the album's called The Last Days of Gravity. Um, so it is a 2LP. Oh, that's kind of trip up. It, yeah, it comes up as like trip, down tempo, ambient, electronic. I don't know. Okay. Um, but yeah it's interesting and i like interesting so. uh collective soul this is uh, another craft recording this is the one with smashing young man i think it is self-titled yeah it is isn't it? and it's 25th anniversary of the triple platinum selling album collective soul uh all right so we've got a new live album for, i mean a new release it's ween and it's called painting the town brown or paint Paint in the Town Brown, and it's live 1990 to 1998. It's first ever U.S. pressing on brown vinyl. It is a three LP set, and it's got a 26 minute version of Poop Ship Destroyer. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's over two hours of music. I'm a fan of Ween. Um, I uh, I don't know. I, they did kind of lose me once they kind of went more jam bandy, like after the white pepper, after white pepper. But again, I know a lot of people just discovered them then, and they really love that. This is a uh, grind over matter. It's the uh, new defleshed. Uh, we've had this in last week, I think, in the week before. Uh, it's a great record if you're a fan of their old stuff, or like Christian, uh, Dare Riser, Old Creator, or just Thrash with a little death metal. It's ultra fast, really good stuff. So we've got the new I Prevail album, and it's called True Power. Uh, we've got a limited to 3,000 copies on Cold World Vinyl, which looks white with, like, blue streaks. And it's funny because we just had a new release from them, like, a few weeks ago. So I don't know if the, this is a brand new album. I, I don't know, but that's pretty exciting. High Top Mountain, Sturgill Simpson. Uh, yeah, we just I was wanting to get some Sturgill Simpson in, so I just grabbed two random albums. We've also got The Sound of Fury from Sturgill Simpson. Um, I believe there's others of his that I can get in as well, but I was just trying to mix it up. Um, so we have uh, the 50th anniversary on Black Vinyl reissue of the classic Wazoo period in 1972. It is The Grand Wazoo by um, Frank Zappa, and it's a... Original uh, featuring a rig, original packaging with all analog mastering by Bernie Grudman. Um, yeah, nice. Nine Inch Nails, Pretty Hate Machine. Uh, yeah, classic record. All right. 
Again, this is, uh, I, I'm not sure this might have been another a special order as well. It's um, Fit for a King, and the album's called The Hell We Create. I love the, the cover art here. It looks really, really spooky and dark. But, uh, yeah, that, I believe, I believe they're metal. I'm not sure, like, what specific type of metal they are, but, um, yeah. Night Demon, You're the Demon, this is the singles collection. So you get all five singles and the B-sides. So. Uh, okay, so we had, I had somebody that missed out on this on Record Store Day, so I was able to get another copy in. Um, it is Jonathan Richmond and the Modern Lovers, Jonathan Sings. So this is a colored vinyl, um, but they are also reissuing it on black vinyl. But I believe I can still get copies of the color, this colored vinyl version as well. Tyler, the creator, Igor. And I think, do we have? Uh, we also have, is this? It's not Tyler, the creator, but Flower Boy. Yeah, no, this is Tyler, the creator. Oh. So this is also Tyler, the creator, and it's Flower Boy. Um, I believe, what else we have? Another one or uh, I thought we had a goblin. Oh, no, we do, we do. You're right. We also have Bo Goblin, and then we, I don't know, I may still have a copy of his new, newest album out there, I'm not sure, but that's a lot of Tyler the Creator, I didn't realize I did that, but it was, I mean, it's popular, so. Uh, Necrophobic, Woman Lilithu, this is, I think, their 2013-2012 album, um, and I believe this has bonus tracks, uh, 180 gram, heavyweight, double album. All right, so they did a bunch of Angels and Airwaves reissues, and um, I believe, yeah, so I don't know if I'm doing these in the right order, and there was a few, like, EPs that I might not have got, gotten in, but I can. So we've got Angels and Airwaves, uh, The Dream Walker, and this is an indie retail exclusive spring green vinyl. Uh, first off, if you're not familiar I don't know. If you're not familiar with Angels and Airwaves, they're kind of like a super group. I know that there's a member of like Blink-182 and, oh, I can't remember, but it's a, it's a bunch of like really popular groups. And Love Part 1, uh, this is on Olive Green, Angels and Airwaves. Um, and yeah, they are a super group. They have, uh, uh, I can't remember either, but uh, a lot of famous people. It's a big deal. Look into it. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> no. All right. So we've also got uh, Stomping the Phantom Brake Pedal. And this is an indie exclusive clear vinyl. And this is now, when it originally came out, it was just like an EP. Well, they reissued it and it's got, it says it's got this Score Evolved EP. And then also Love to Reimagined EP. So. I don't know. Uh, that's cool. Uh, Etta James, Tell Mama. This is a Record Store Day Essential, and this is Yellow Vinyl, and it is put out by Bear Family, which is a great label out of Germany. We really like Bear Family. Uh, this is another Record Store Day Black Friday title that someone uh, asked about, I was able to get in, and it's Vintage Trouble Juke Joint Gems. Yeah, that was another one I wasn't familiar with. Yeah, I'm... So this is uh, Queen, uh, News of the World. This is the latest one in the 180 gram black vinyl. Uh, Half Speed Master, Queen reissues they've been doing. So these are supposed to sound incredible. So I've got some jazz here. We've got um, two new of the Blue Note Classic Vinyl Series releases. Uh, these are both mastered from the original analog tapes by Kevin Gray which we have to say that every time. We've got J.J. Johnson, or the imminent J.J. Johnson. Um, this is with Clifford Brown, John Lewis, Charlie M Mingus, Kenny Clark, and it says Volume 1 on one side. We've got Thelonious Monk, Volume 1, which we had original of not too long ago. Yeah, the genius of modern music. Yeah, um, yeah that's a great, I mean, that's an iconic album, is yeah. what I meant to say. Uh, Blue Note Classic. Uh, we've got a new acoustic sound series 
this is Pharaoh Sanders and the album's called Karma. Um, I had a lot of requests for this album, um, so let me know if you'd like one. I'll, I'll you know, I'll well, end up running uh, out for sure. In-house 1963 to 1964, Ahmed Jamal. Ahmad Jamal, that was the record store day Black Friday title. Um, so yeah, there were two of these that came out. The mm. blue one, I yeah. So I had somebody who specifically wanted the the earlier version, and um, I got some, the the later version. Um, but I had people who wanted those too, so it all worked out. It all works out. Um, so I've got Art Pepper meets the Rhythm Section. Now this is a Contemporary Records Acoustic Sound Series version. This was the uh, record store day from April. So this is colored vinyl. Uh, one of my distributors, uh, I've got a few copies in, so I was able to grab those up. However, if you miss out on them, they're doing, or if you just prefer black vinyl, they are doing a black vinyl reissue that is on pre-order right now. So uh, that's awesome. This is also a contemporary records acoustic sound series. Uh, Benny Carter, Jazz Giants, and it's craft recordings, obviously. But these are really nice. I mean, these are like, the tip on jackets they are and stuff. really nice this really nice quality uh, all right so we've got uh johnny guitar watson at uncle poe's carnegie hall hamburg 1976. uh this is a 2lp and he was like a famous uh r&b blues electric blues guitarist of the 50s and like 60s he did gangsters of love and um it's a cool record this is on crystal vinyl it is uh this machine still kills flashes dropkick murphy's and it's lyrics by woody Guthrie. so it's kind of a neat record i think we've shown this uh last couple of weeks we've got it in yes and i although i got one of these in last week um i ran out pretty quick so i got a, another copy uh this week it's john lee hooker the healer and it's got a ton of special guests. Uh, this is the critically acclaimed 1989 album from the King of Boogie. And yeah, if you know, I went through the uh, the guest. It's got Carlos Santana and Santana Band, Bonnie Raitt, Robert Cray, uh, Los Lobos, Charlie Musselwhite, George Thorogood, and Cam Keat. So that's pretty killer. Uh, no doubt, Tragic Kingdom back in stock. We had this in. We've been lucky enough to get it in so but it will go fast they always do so i had a, a couple of requests for the curtis mayfield reissue of curtis um and uh yeah it's a this is an iconic album i believe that they're doing a one of i don't know i'm pretty sure they're doing a colored vinyl reissue in january uh part of the rhino start your ear off right um but yeah, that's, this is just a black vinyl version. The Monster is original soundtrack and score. This has new music by Rob Zombie. It has the score. It is uh, Lily and Hermit swirled colored vinyl. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And I think we're getting down to like where I'm almost not able to get any more. So I'm not sure. I mean, I could be able to get a few more, but we're getting down. Uh, my distributors are out, but I had saved some to my shelf. So, okay. So, uh, as you know, I mention all the time, patience pays off. It's important to be patient while you're quite, like if you're into records, uh, because especially on popular titles, they go in and out of stock all the time. Deftones records, like three of them will be out of stock for like six months. And then the aftermarket prices go up and all the while nobody wants the ones that are in stock and then it reverses. So it's always like some are in stock anyway. Uh, Right now, I got in a couple copies of Deftones' Saturday Night Wrist, and I also have uh, Around the Fur. Oh, However, I have Around the Fur until Monday. Yes, we are. However, also, um, I'm not sure, like, I'm. they might all be claimed already, but um, because Check I just checked my shelf. And and, get on the list. Yeah. Uh, so, if you need them. Long story short, let me know your Deftones needs, and I will meet them as as they come in. That's all. Tom Petty, Full Moon Fever. This is a classic album. Running Down a Dream, Free Falling. And more. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh. It's an iconic album. 
Uh, okay, again, I know I say back order all the time, but uh, this is one that had been out of stock for a really long time. It's Katy Perry Teenage Dream. So if you do need a copy of this, let me know as soon as possible because I don't know how many how long it's going to be in stock. So Thursday is a weekend back in stock. I think we had this last week too. So I'm not gonna... yeah. Uh, all right. So this is uh, the big. Uh, this is the group Big Thief, and it's their album that came out this year called uh, Dragon New Warm Mountain. I believe in you. Uh, great album. Uh, indie kind of folky kind of band uh, a lot of I've seen some people have this on their best of the year release definitely if you're not familiar with Big Thief they have quite a few albums to re recommend checking out we have a couple of tool we have Undertow and we have Lollapalooza uh, Dallas broadcast 1993 so yeah tool. we've been out of tool for a while uh, so we got uh, Motley Crue. So this is a reissue that came out this year. It's the um, Too Fast for Love. It's and got the fake ring wear. <laughs> I don't know why they do that. But fake ass ring wear is what I call it. Uh, but yeah, I also uh, wanted to show, we've got like the Motley, a Motley Crue divider to go in our record bins. So I had to get like some more Motley Motley Crue to go with it. So. <laughs> I just All thought right. it was really cute. This is a 10 inch, which uh, is a Christmas 10 inch. Step into Christmas and ho, ho, ho. Elton John, limited edition red vinyl. It's got five tracks on it. I don't yeah, know how does. long they are. But... Uh... And uh, Calling It Christmas is with Joss Stone. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Elton John. Did you already show this one? I did. I showed oh, the okay. Queen. Uh... All right. So I've got... Uh, Dark Knight's death metal soundtrack, and this has got Chelsea Wolf, Denzel Curry, Health, which is a group we really like, Idols, they're also good, Rise Against, it's got so many people, Manchester Orchestra. No death metal, but... Uh... It's a 2LP, and this is, I think it's colored vinyl, I'll have to double check which colors, but yeah. That in. Uh, Primus and the Chocolate Factory. With the fungi with the gold and foil <laughs> cover. I mean, the cover is really nice. They've been doing a lot of Primus reissues, so uh, that was a good title. Uh, this is usually out of stock, but I got one copy of Kiss Alive. This is a two LP. It's part is like these uh, Kiss reissues of all of them. I mean, I don't see this one pop up as often. So it's a great live album, so I thought it'd be cool to get in. It's Greta Von Fleet from the Fires. I think that Kiss is a different hype sticker than uh, hmm. from it. No, it's, it's, uh, no, it's 180 hmm. gram. It looks like the others. Uh, all right, so I've got Dr. Dre, 2001. So I believe I might have shown this in past and like recent videos, but I've been I, they sell so fast. I try to get them back in. Quickly. The Cure of Wish, the RSD picture disc. This does sound fantastic. Uh, the CD has uh, a lot of bonus tracks. We also have it in. It's got two extra discs. So, but. Uh, so we've got The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Uh, I just, one of my favorite albums. Uh, I think next week I, I could have in the score, Fuji's The Score. That one had been out of stock for a little bit. But anyway, um, just I love this album. So happy to keep it. If it sells, I generally try to replace it. Good morning, gorgeous. Mary J. Blige. That's uh, her newest album, and that's on gold vinyl. I believe there's also a clear vinyl option I can get in. So we have Massive Attack Mezzanine. Uh, this is one of our, fa our favorite uh, Massive Attack albums. It's uh, iconic. It's got uh, Elizabeth Frazier on Teardrop. If you're not familiar with the record, this album, get familiar Soccer with Soccer Mommy Color Theory. Um, this is limited edition indie retail highlighter yellow vinyl. And this is not the new one, but the one before it. Yes, yeah, so that originally came out in 2020. It's a brand new pressing on this indie exclusive colored vinyl. Um, yeah, this is uh, interesting. I, we, That's good. I don't know. Yeah, we like soccer mommy. 
so I have some Pink Floyd restocks. I, I do still have the Division Bell, but I also, like, these two, they sell so fast that I just have to replace them every week. So we got Dark Side of the Moon and The Wall. Uh, everybody always asks for Defensional Violator. It's always out of stock. This is the import version. Uh, it's a little pricier. Sounds fantastic. Uh, Defensional Violator. So we've got some Nirvana to restock the bins with. We've got Nirvana Nevermind. Uh, we've got Unplugged in New York. And then we've got this, just it's Nirvana Nirvana. It's just a compilation. compilation yeah. So, um, yeah. And I've also got In Utero out there. But like everybody always asks for Nirvana, it's a busy time of the year. So, uh, Billy Strings, me and Dad. Indie exclusive. Color vinyl. Um, I'm not familiar with this one. This is Admiral Sir Cloudsley Chevelle Shovel, and it's called Check 'em Before You Wreck 'em. Um, it's uh, kind of uh, Stone Rock, I guess. Huh. It looks cool. I like the cover. <laughs> uh, the used uh, 20th anniversary edition. Milky Clear. It's a record store day essential, even though they didn't put a sticker on it, but it's like a Milky Clear with red splatter. Um, all right, so we've got Portishead. Portishead. Uh, been, I love Portishead, so um, this is... Had the for a it's while. been a long time. It's been out of stock. I mean, back burner, back burner, back burner. <laughs> Fraggle Rock. The, uh, this is the new Netflix version, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, Apple TV... Original series soundtrack. Okay, Apple TV. And I think we were looking at the back, and whenever we saw that it's got um, Foo Fighters, or wait, did I dream that? <laughs> Never mind, I could have dreamt that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't don't listen to me. I don't know where I saw that. Okay, so we got PJ Harvey. Is this Desire? Uh, this is a great album. We have a ton of PJ Harvey in stock since they've been doing all these PJ Harvey reissues. Um, I did have a special order as a for a Christmas gift. Um, we didn't happen to have this one in, uh, but they're all really good, and I can get any of them if I don't have it in out there. Just ask me, and I'll get it in. Music on vinyl, Danger Danger, self-titled, back in stock. Nope. That's a uh, special order. And I don't think I can get any more at this time. So I could back order it. We'll see. But I'm not sure. Uh, so we've got Kid Cudi, Man on the Moon, The End of Day. And it's a perfect time. Never mind. Uh, so yeah, back in stock. Uh, Cowboy Junkies, Eternity Sessions. This is also music on vinyl. Uh, so I had a, another person reach out and want this. SSBU, it's Silverson Pickups and Butch Vig, and it's the seven inch that came out on Black Friday Record Store Day. Um, I don't know if I can get any more, but let me know if you're interested in that. Uh, Blind Melon, uh, self titled music on vinyl. This is one with no rain. Okay, so I don't know how to pronounce this one. Is it ECID or it's E C I D? ECID. And it's called Pheromone Heavy. Uh, it is a 2LP. It's like hip hop, right? Yes. Hip hop. And um, it looks cool. I like the cover. Taylor Swift, 1989. What would it wouldn't be like an unboxing without us showing a copy of Taylor Swift, 1989? And she did did just have a birthday. So happy belated birthday, Taylor. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we've got uh, Sigur Ross. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, and this is a reissue 25th, 20th anniversary edition on heavyweight vinyl remastered. Got the nice die cut cover, uh, this sort of uh, iconic album. Buck Owens Christmas Shopping, all analog merits. Buck Owens. Mm -hmm. Uh, we got Trampled by Turtles, Alp Alpine Glow, <laughs> and um, this is their most recent album, and 
I keep, I keep running out and then uh, keep getting people asking about it. So, uh, Animal Collective, Fall Be Kind. I think that's the name of this one anyway. Oh, I was going to mention that this uh, Tremble by Turtles was produced by Jeff Tweedy. I forgot that part. <laughs> Uh, oh, so we got Chris Stapleton, uh, Traveler. Uh, this one I hadn't had in for a while, and everybody loves Chris Stapleton, so I just wanted to get some in. Falling into Infinity, the demos, 1996 to 97, Dream Theater. Hmm. Uh, and then this is a reissue of the second album from Bad Sons, and it's called Disappear Here. Um, I... I know they're like kind of an alternative band. Uh, I don't know much about them. I do know that they've toured with the 1975 and Halsey, but um, and I do really like those groups, so I'll definitely check out Bad Sons. But they have a uh, multiple albums. This is a reissue of their second one, uh, and I've got back in uh, Bjork's most recent album that has rave reviews, uh, Phosphora. So I think that's it. That is it. Uh, if you need anything before Christmas, we need to know by Monday. We have gift certificates. And yeah, I that's, think that's uh, it. Probably do a video early next week. So. Yeah, we'll try to get some we'll news priced up as soon as we can. We've just been uh, pretty busy uh, in store looking, you know, to be able to get a bunch more priced up. But we work on it every chance we get. Uh, thank you so much for watching our videos. Uh, we've been trying to get this video shot all all day. Um, it just hasn't really worked out. Yeah, I'm kind of hectic. So, uh, in a good way. Uh, we got here early, but then the phone was ringing. So, it was just like trying to get this video out uh, and up as soon as we can. So, thank you for watching. And we hope you have a great night. All right. All right.